Looks like we reached the palace grounds. All the answers we seek lie just ahead. Speaking of which, isn't it about time you spilled the beans, old man? I think you owe us the truth. Yeah, that's right. Before we go any further, we need to know. Eldor? Very well. I come from ancient times, when the Dogma Wars were being waged. I was a soldier in the Athwani army, tasked with protecting the Queen. When we managed to seal the Ishranian Knights, the war between Athwan and Ishrania finally came to a close. But there was a price. In that last desperate struggle, we had lost many of our greatest and wisest men. Without their leadership, the Queen could not control a populace that had grown disillusioned with the war. The realm began to fall apart, and in the mayhem that followed, the Queen... I failed to protect her, as was my duty. I lost everything at once. I had no master, no home. Worst of all, no purpose. And that was when I first heard the prophecy. Ten thousand years hence, Queen Mirius would be reborn. She and the Ishranian Emperor Madorus would determine the fate of their two civilizations by fighting a final and monumental battle. One too great to be contained by the laws of time. A prophecy? And you believe that? Perhaps you find it difficult to imagine now. But in those days, the words of the prophets were never false. I believed the prophecy, and used forbidden magic to travel to this time. I was determined to protect the Queen. And this time, I swore I would not fail in my duty. So, there are spells that let you travel in time? Indeed there are. But to use the magic, I had to make a deal with the God of Death himself. I wanted to cheat time, so time is what I had to pay. That is why you see me now as an old man. And did you end up finding your queen? For nearly 18 years, I wandered the land and searched until I did find her. But then those magi appeared and took her away. <laughs> What do you know? It's a small world, isn't it? Cisna? Yes. That's right, lad. Your princess is the reincarnation of Murius, Queen of the Athwani. Just tell me, brother. Why do you need the power of the knights? What purpose does it serve? Kara, we've been through this. Don't you want to see the Ashrenian Empire rebuilt? Or should I take these questions of yours as a sign that you've lost faith? But why you? I just don't understand why it even matters to you. Some long dead civilization? <sighs> Kara. No one will stand in my way, do you understand? I am going to rule this world. Uh, brother... What have the people of this era ever done for you? Or for me? Medius tried to kill me. Why? He made me believe that he loved me. Don't you see? I had to punish him. It was... It was because of the special powers we had. That's right. Because people are afraid of power. They fear it, abominate it, and they despise us as a result. The people of this world will never allow us to live in peace. 
Says who? Your priest friend, Ladam? Brother, why do you put any stock in that stranger's words? Ladam is a messenger from ancient times. He was sent here to help, to guide me in rebuilding the glory that was the Ishrenian Empire. So you really believe it then? You actually think you have the blood of the Emperor in your veins? Yes. I know I do. Brother. My lord, the Ark Bearers have reached the palace. Good. Then we are ready. It won't be long now, Princess. Or was it your grace, Queen Murius? Grisel, do you honestly believe that's who I am? But of course. In mere moments, you were able to unseal the Knight's power, an ability that only the Queen possessed. That's why I took you, Highness. So I could bring all of the Knight's chosen Pact Makers together. But wait, I thought you wanted the Knights for yourself. That's good. I needed your friends to believe they were acting on your behalf. It wouldn't have done for them to know they were serving my interests. Will you stop at nothing? It's funny you should ask that, Queen Murius. Because if you stand in my way even one more time, you're going to find out the answer. So, what's supposed to happen next? Now that Queen Murius has revealed herself, she and the Ishranian Emperor Madoras will fight their final battle. Or so it goes. Which means, he's been reborn too. This Emperor Madoras guy. No, the reincarnation of Madoras was not foretold. What do you mean? He cannot be reborn when he never died. What? Medoras unlocked the key to immortality and continues to live in the present day. Thus, the Dogma Wars never ended in a way. Queen Murius was reborn to end them, to defeat Medoras and keep the world safe. Okay, then where is Medoras? I don't know. He's probably in hiding somewhere on this continent. Perhaps living among the people, biding his time until the return of the Queen. It's hard to believe. Enough talk for now. There isn't much more to say. We have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs>